El indefinido is the second past tense in Spanish, which is a one-time action in the past. Pasado means past in Spanish. And there are two past tenses, the pretérito imperfecto and the pretérito indefinido. Pretérito means past in Spanish. So we're not going to use the word pretérito imperfecto, pretérito indefinido. We're just going to use imperfecto and indefinido. We still know that we're talking about past tenses, and the imperfecto is one, and the indefinido is the past tense we're going to spend this lesson on. The imperfecto is an ongoing action in the past, while the indefinido is a one-time action in the past. For example, I was speaking, or I used to speak, would be the imperfecto, as opposed to I spoke would be the indefinido. That would be the difference between the two past tenses in English. So the indefinido is the focus of this lesson. Let's look at an AR verb, hablar, and put the conjugations of it in the indefinido. First of all, if we were to use hablar in the indefinido, what we would be saying in English is, I spoke, you spoke, she spoke, we spoke, y'all spoke, and they spoke. To say that in Spanish, we're going to then change the ending at the end of the word. I spoke, hablé, hablaste, habló, hablamos, hablasteis, hablaron. So our endings are a, haste, o, amos, hasteis, and aron. Notice A and O have an accent. Let's look at the ER and IR endings now for comer and vivir. I ate, comí. You ate, comiste. She ate, comió. We ate, comimos. Y'all ate, comisteis. And they ate, comieron. Y, iste, yo. Imos, isteis, yeron. Notice they're very similar to the AR verb endings. And you'll also notice that they are the same set of endings for the ER and for the IR. I lived, viví, viviste, vivió. Vivimos, vivisteis, vivieron. So it's easy to remember because they're the same set of endings for both the ER and the IR. And E and IO have an accent. So now we see AR, ER, and IR together, and we can see the similarities between the endings in this tense. And we can see that they all have an accent in the first person, yo, and the third person, el, in the singular. Those are the verb endings for el indefinido, which is the second past tense in Spanish, a one-time action in the past.